guys, it's me Sarah. So I am going to be making a chicken alfredo type dinner tonight um, as it's getting to the last couple days before my husband gets paid. Things are getting tight and I'm having to start to get really creative. So um, I'm hoping it comes out good. I'm thinking it'll come out good. If it doesn't come out good, I probably won't post this video. I'm thinking. Um, cause I wouldn't ever post a video for you guys to make something gross. So, yeah. Um, I just want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. I love you guys. You guys are so awesome. And yes, my hair is changed. Um, it's a different color and it's straight. And if you didn't know, my hair's like down to my butt. But anyway, <laughs> besides that, um, thanks for watching guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you. everybody so tonight's dinner I do not know what to call yet but it is going to be delicious because I have faith in myself anyways you're going to need four boneless skinless chicken thighs and to season those you're not gonna need that yet but you're gonna need a quarter teaspoon of paprika one teaspoon of fresh ground pepper one teaspoon of onion salt and I will oh and one small onion and then for our sauce this is where we get creative oh wait also for our chicken we are going to use EVOO only about um, maybe a tablespoon or so um, okay so for our saw so sauce um, it's gonna get creative here we have a little bit over a third cup of sour cream a cup of heavy whipping cream, um, a stick of butter that I cut into cubes so it's easily melted, a half a block of cream cheese, the heck, um, even though I don't like using this stuff, I don't have any kind of cheddar cheese, any kind of cheese cheese, so I'm using a packet of macaroni and cheese powdered cheese. Told you it's going to be creative. And also a cube of chicken bouillon, or two scoops of the powdered bouillon. And then we are also going to need a half a box of rotini noodles. I'm running out of room. And then I'm going to use a half a bag of Garofalo multi-colored noodles, which is the spinach and the carrot and the egg noodles. I love this brand. No, I'm not a sponsor. I wish I was because... This brand of noodles is like the best in the world. It tastes like a homemade noodle. If you ever see this, get this brand. Yes. Very good. Okay, anyways, besides the noodles. Um, if you've watched my other noodles, you know that I have a weird noodle obsession. So, I'm going to start with the chicken first, and then the sauce, and I don't need to go from there. So, let's get started. So, after I scrubbed the poor little bug that lost its life on my chopping board off... Um, I'm going to get my, oh, and I washed my hands, I'm going to get my chicken, and I'm just going to start cubing up my chicken thighs. And when you have pre, you know, cut boneless, skinless chicken thighs, you really want to check um, to make sure there's no little bone or cartilage particles that you might choke on. So, before I even go to cut my um, chicken thighs. I always wash them off and search them for bones or cartilage or any hard pieces because pretty much every piece usually has something. So just to let you know, quick tip. All right, so I just cut it in strips and then I'm just going to cut them in small cubes. And when I'm done with this piece, I'm going to finish my other pieces and get the spices that I mentioned before and start marinating my chicken. So I will be back in just one second. While I'm finishing up this last chicken thigh, um, I wanted to mention, um, somebody has asked me in um, a comment what knives I use <laughs> because they said that I make cutting look really, really easy. 
and it's because my knives. And my knives I use, even though this has chicken juice on it, are J.A. Hinkle's not, or International Knives. Can you see that? Let me see my... Ah! Let me see if my phone will... There we go. But yeah, these knives are super awesome. My husband got them for me for my birthday. I love them. If you do get them, be very careful because they're really, really nice. Like, really, really sharp. I've already cut myself a couple times. Anyways, be right back with the next thing we need to chop up. Or season. Or whatever we're going to do. So, I'll be back in a second. Alright, so after I scrubbed my chopping board, um, I forgot that I said that we were going to season and start marinating our chicken. So, here is our paprika. Our onion salt. And our pepper. And since I'm going to be cooking, oh my god, <laughs> sorry, top is on really good on this bottle. Since I'm going to be cooking the chicken in olive oil, I'm going to put a little bit to marinate in. So, just going to stir this around. Probably could have used a bigger bowl, but oh well. Knowing me, things will go flinging everywhere. Alright, now that your chicken is nice and mixed around, you can just set it to the side and we're going to chop up our onion. So, one second. Okay, so now that your onion has finally diced itself, um, you just want to put it into a bowl. And next, we're going to be chopping up our garlic, which I'm going to show you a quick tip on chopping up garlic and have it not stick to you or your knives, because that's really annoying when that happens. And I will be back to show you how to do that in one second. Okay, so what I like to do when I chop up my garlics... They have a tendency of getting really sticky, and they stick to your fingers and your knives, everything. So, I pour just like a little bit of olive oil on them, and it solves the problem. They don't stick at all to anything. And you can just chop away, and seeing how you're most likely going to cook them anyways, the olive oil doesn't bother anything. See, it comes right off. So, I hope you enjoyed that tip. It took me a while to figure it out um but yeah so i'm gonna finish chopping these up and i will be back in a second okay so just like the onions you want your garlic finely finely chopped if you don't like garlic as much as my family does <laughs> which um you can tell we like a lot um you don't have to use that much garlic you can use two to three cloves but garlic is really really good for you and um and really yummy so I like using a lot all the time with like everything. So now I'm going to be getting a uh, frying pan and I'm going to start sauteing these um, to uh, eventually add our chicken to and then we will start working on our sauce. In the meantime, I'm going to start um, boiling my noodles so everything will end up being cooked right around the same time. So one second. So I'm going to start boiling my pot of water for my noodles. I'm just going to add mm, like two teaspoons of sea salt to the water to flavor the noodles when they cook. And I'm also going to add a little bit of olive oil to keep the water from boiling over when the noodles are cooking. And now we're going to get started on our veggies. Okay, so since I already added like a little, probably about a teaspoon of olive oil to my garlic when I was chopping it. I'm only going to add like a teaspoon to um, fry my onions and my garlic. <laughs> so you want these on a medium high and you want to keep stirring them often so you don't burn your garlic. And I'm not adding any salt or anything because this is going to be mixed with our chicken, which eventually will be mixed with our sauce to make a kind of chicken alfredo sauce is what I'm aiming for. So no um, seasoning the 
onions and garlic. So we will be back in a second. I just wanted to show that if you didn't get a good view of the noodles I was talking about earlier, the Garofalo, that's how I say it. Anyways, but um, here they are. They're super good. If you're gonna buy any dry noodles, buy these kind. And no, I'm not a sponsor. I really wish I was. But I have to say that so my um, video doesn't get deleted. All right, I will be back in a second. So our onions and garlic are perfectly toasted. They're gonna add some really, really good flavors to the sauce. So I don't want to overcook them. So I'm going to put these in a bowl or plate or whatever um, while I cook the chicken. And then when the chicken's done cooking, I'm gonna add this to the chicken. So I will be, I can't talk tonight. <laughs> I will be right back. Okay, since, since we already added the olive oil to our chicken, um, we don't need to add olive oil, but I do need to light my stove. Okay, so since I have a stove that's like 40 or 50 years old, I have to light it by myself, but that's no problem. Um, anyways, so no adding any extra oil since we added oil to the marinade. We don't want our stuff coming out too oily because we want it creamy, not oily. So I am going to saute this chicken up and I will be back when it looks like what it's supposed to look like. And I'm cooking it on medium high. So just make sure that you frequently stir it so it doesn't burn or yeah, get unevenly cooked, any of that bad stuff. So we'll be back in a second. Oh, and my water's almost boiling, so I'm going to be adding my noodles probably while I have my video pause. I might unpause it just to show you guys, but I'll be back in a second. Okay, so my chicken is cooking perfectly, so we're just going to go over to our pot. Ah! Sorry, my tripod had some technical difficulties, or in my hand. Um, anyways, so it's just starting to do a rolling boil thing. Um, if you've ever tried doing the wooden spoon on top of the pot, so when you're cooking your noodles, it doesn't boil over. Yeah, it doesn't work, unless I'm doing it wrong, but I've tried it like three or four times with different kinds of wooden spoons, and it never has ever worked. So I found using olive oil in your water while you're cooking your noodles works the best because it can't form bubbles when it has oil in it. So do it that way. Don't use a wooden spoon. That, I don't know. I think they did that to, or made that up to make people look silly. Anyway, so I already mixed many news, and so I'm just going to throw them all in there. And give it a quick stir. So there's no sticking. And let those babies go. And let's go back to our chicken. It is looking fantabulous. Yep. So I'm going to cook it without stirring it anymore to get some good browning on there. So we get some nice flavors going on. Because this is all an experiment, and it's got to come out great, right? Right? Yeah, right. Be back. Okay, so I cooked my chicken for over five minutes. I cooked it more like ten minutes without touching it. And all it did was develop a lot of juices. But that's really good, because that's a lot of flavor, too. Um, I'm going to add my onions and garlic to my chicone. Hmm. It smells really good, so it can't be a failure, right? It's going to be an amazing creation. Just like my stuffed chicken thighs were. Those were, oh my god. Those were so good, and I'm definitely remaking those. Um, yeah, this is done. So, I'm going to put this to the side for now and start on my sauce. So, I'll be back in a second. I just realized... Well, no, I didn't just realize it, but I'm sorry that I always say I'll be back in a second because I'm sure you guys figure I'll be back in a second, but I think it's just like a force of habit um, to say it. I'll try and not say it so much. Come on, butter. Um, but yeah, I think it's just like a force of habit saying I'll be right back and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm sure it gets annoying when I say it over and over and over. So anyways. I'm just going to use the spatula I was using for my chicken because we're going to be mixing it all together anyways. And why get another dish dirty. So I'm using unsalted butter to ensure that it's not going to be too salty. 
and also because it's the only butter that I have left. I don't have any more salted butter. But yeah, I've decided that unsalted butter is definitely way more liquidy than salted butter. And I don't know why. If anybody knows why, let me know in the comments. Because I'd really like to know why. Okay, now that the butter's melted. Um, while I was cooking everything, all my dairy products started to kind of melt. So I just put them all together with the heavy whipping cream. So this is the heavy whipping cream, the cream cheese, and the sour cream. All in one. I'm going to set this right here. Get my handy dandy hearted spatula. Get all that out of there. Because it's all I have left. That's why I'm using it all. Okay. So I think that's all I'm going to get out of that. Okay. So if this doesn't get to the consistency that I want, um, where it's thick enough, I'm going to add a little bit of whole milk mixed with flour, but I'll let you know if I do that. And if you see like little dark things in there, it's just like pieces of the garlic and pepper from cooking the chicken, and it was on the spatula. So don't worry. It's nothing gross. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit. And I'm going to add my chicken bouillon and use a more sufficient stirring spoon because the spatula wasn't working very great. And I'm going to stir this until the chicken bouillon's all, um, you know, mixed in. Okay, so I tasted my sauce. So Oops. I tasted my sauce so far. And it is definitely not the consistency I want it. I want it way thicker. So... Here I have mixed together two thirds a cup of heavy whipping cream, one third a cup of flour, and one cup of whole milk. And it's all cold, so the flour mixed really well without clumping up. So I'm just going to pour this in and mix while I pour it. There's some chunkies at the bottom. And then I'm going to turn my heat back up a little bit because that added a lot of cold liquid. And I'm also going to get my whisk for this part. Okay, so since I don't want it overly salty, because it got pretty salty with the chicken bouillon, um, I'm only adding half of my packet of the macaroni and cheese. If you have real cheese, use real cheese. I would say a cup of real cheese. Um, but I don't have real cheese, so I'm using this. Um, so I'm just going to whisk this in. Oh, doesn't that look wonderful? Um, anyways, I can't get over that. I'm using macaroni and cheese powder. But at least it's not as orange as I thought it was going to be. But hey, when you're hungry and your husband's begging you to cook dinner, you get creative. And I have a tendency of getting really creative, and that's how I've come up with a lot of my recipes. Okay, that's all mixed really well, so I don't want to scratch the heck out of my pan, so I'll be back. Sorry, I did it again. I said, I'll be back. Anyways, I wanted to add, my noodles have been boiling this whole time without me stirring, and they are on high boiling, and they have not gone over at all. And that is the wonders of extra virgin olive oil. If you don't have EVOO, you can always use a little bit of canola oil. Just please don't use corn oil or vegetable oil. Those are just so bad for you. Okay, so back to sauce. It's looking like sauce. I'm waiting for it to, waiting for my sauce to start simmering. My noodles finished. I strained them. They're ready to go. Um, I'm not adding any oil to keep them from sticking because eventually everything's going to be mixed together. So uh, now it's finally starting to thick up and thicken up and um, I'll return when it's at that point. So I was just like stirring along, right? And all of a sudden like, holy wowza, it got really thick out of nowhere, but it's like perfect. So I'm so glad that I added the extra milk and whipping cream and flour because now it's like the perfect consistency. I'm glad I did that. All right, 
Time to add the chicken to the sauce. I'm gonna turn the sauce off because it is done. Here goes off chicken. And I haven't tasted the sauce yet. Well, I tasted it for saltiness, but not for seasoning um, because the chicken is what is gonna bring it the magic to life because it has the garlic and the onions and the chicken and then chicken juices and all that yumminess. So, since this is like piping hot, I'm gonna keep the temp temperature off and I'm just gonna let all of it come together and mesh, if you'll say. <laughs> um, and then after about five minutes or so, I'm going to taste it because I don't wanna taste it yet until all the ingredients have really meshed well together and all the flavors come out of the chicken and all that because you won't know the true taste of it until it's sat and you know let all the flavors out so i'm going to say it but i will be back in a second hey guys so i just wanted to get real for just a quick second and share that in case i don't post a video you know for three or four days or something it's because um, I have a rare case of degenerative disc disease, and I also have um, a rapid evolving case of osteoarthritis that's deteriorating pretty much all my joints. But I'm not telling you to make you feel bad for me or anything. Um, I just want you to know in case I don't do a video for a while. But And I also want to give other people that have problems like this hope that you can still do stuff with your life. You don't have to sit there in pain and stuff. It actually helps to get up and move and do stuff and feel better about yourself and just, you know, just what I like to say is when life gives you lemons, say screw it and make chocolate milk. <laughs> That's my famous saying. So I just wanted um, to let you guys know a little bit about me and, and just give other people hope that do what you love. I mean, I never thought that I would be doing YouTube videos cooking, and I love cooking, and so that's why I'm doing what I love. So I'm going to finish this dinner, and I'm going to taste it, and it's going to be delicious, and we're going to go from there. And I hope you guys enjoy my videos, and I will talk to you guys soon, and I'll be right back. <laughs> my famous saying. <laughs> okay, so enough of that sappy talk. We have our cooked noodles and our delicious sauce. And we're just going to pour it all in there. Thank God for non-stick pans because it like all came out. That's awesome. Okay, and I'm just going to stir this in really good. Okay, so it's all done stirring. It looks super good. I decided that I am going to call it super easy chicken Alfredo. Kind of. <laughs> so I'm going to plate and be right back. All right, so I'm just going to serve it in a bowl because I don't have any sides tonight because I figured noodles, chicken, sauce, it's going to be filling enough. So here is my bowl, and I'm going to do the tasting. All right, so I have my bowl of my easy chicken alfredo. <laughs> Even though it doesn't have Alfredo news, but oh well. So I'm going to taste it. This is my first official tasting, so I will have a genuine reaction. That is like super bomb. Oh my god, that came out way better than I thought I was going to. So I guess I will be posting this video. Wow, that's like really good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go eat. Thank you see you guys for watching so much. And... Love you guys, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.